444. Let's get over to Peyton with a look at our forecast. Another pretty day. Yeah, another pretty day. We've got a great forecast today and then it kind of slowly goes downhill as we go into the weekend. I'll talk more about that in just a little bit, but enjoy the weather this afternoon. We're starting with a nice view here in New Orleans. No fog, but we do have fog elsewhere. If you're on the North Shore, if you're over towards the river parishes or down towards Homa and Thibodeau, likely dealing with some dense fog. So maybe leave the house a little bit earlier this morning and you can see your dense fog advisory. It goes really for all the areas outside of New Orleans until 9 a.m. That's where your visibility could drop below a quarter of a mile. We do have a quarter mile visibility in Slidell. Dense fog there, dense fog in reserve along with the Gonzalez. Home is up to a quarter of a mile. You were to zero earlier, still sitting at zero in Galliano. And then really for New Orleans going down towards Plaquem and St. Bernard, you're looking pretty good. So if you're going anywhere in the gray there, uh, that's where you could be dealing with uh, kind of problems with the fog, at least through 9 a.m. or so. Look at your temperatures. It is chilly this morning. 37 in Picayune, 41 in Hammond, 51 in Reserve, uh, 45 in Thibodeau, 44 in Homa, 46 in Raceland. So a chilly start, but not as cold as we have been the past couple of days. And today is going to be very nice. Once again, we continue our warming trend mid 70s. And by the way, we ended up getting to 75 yesterday at the airport. Plenty of sunshine and of course that's above average by about uh, nine degrees. We're usually in the mid 60s this time of year. Tonight, I think we'll see a little area uh, areas of fog as well. Not as cold though because of the clouds and fog moving in. Upper 40s on the North Shore, mid 50s here in the Metro and then uh, towards Homa and Thibodeau, you're looking at getting into the 40s, upper 40s as well. Chance of rain holds off today. Tomorrow is going to be mainly dry. I do not expect much rain tomorrow, but Saturday a 60% chance of showers and then Sunday another system blows on in and it's going to bring us a chance for rainfall and then Monday we're dry and then rain chances back up by the middle of next week. So we're in a very active period. Looks like it's going to stay that way for the next seven days. As we go into tonight, tomorrow, there's the clouds moving in. We'll have some sunshine for your Friday, not a complete overcast day. And then by late Friday into early Saturday, there's our first cool front that will be blowing in by Saturday morning. Looks like it'll bring a band of showers with it. Not really expecting severe thunderstorms with this and probably not even going to see any thunderstorms, but mainly just some showers moving on through pretty quickly by Saturday morning. Look at this by Saturday afternoon. We could see some sunshine. So while we have a 60% chance of rain on Saturday, not an all day washout. That's the great news. Now as we go into Sunday morning, we'll start to see some clouds return and by Sunday afternoon, really into Sunday evening. This is when our next storm system starts to develop and we've been talking about the uncertainties with models. Well, they're starting to come into agreement that this will likely uh, start to develop some rainfall rather than just a dry pattern on Sunday. So there's the rainfall moving in by Sunday evening, even into Sunday night into early Monday morning. This could bring us some heavier rainfall. There are still some uncertainties with it, but it's looking more and more likely we'll see some rainfall by late Sunday. Then by Monday, we start with clouds, a few peaks of sunshine Monday, doesn't last long. By Tuesday, the clouds start to return and we're looking at rain chances increasing by late Tuesday into Wednesday. So our temperatures will stay warm through Saturday, a little cooler on Sunday, and then we really won't feel that cooler air until Monday. That's when we're in the mid 50s and then staying pretty cool as we go throughout next week. We'll have rounds of showers and some clouds that'll keep our temperatures pretty leveled off throughout much of next week. So enjoy the weather today because after today, well, it gets a little dicey and our afternoons are not going to be constantly beautiful. So mid 70s today turn into the mid 70s through at least Saturday, but we'll have the chance for showers on Saturday, not all day. And then by Sunday, the best rain chances will come late Sunday, clearing Monday, and then it doesn't last long by late Tuesday going into Wednesday. More showers possible.